CRF 250X 2005 model. I'm going to take out the carburetor and uh, you have to take note of all the cables uh, in case you can't remember them when you're putting it back together. So the, um, the warm start cable, I'm going to bring it out, connect it to the carburetor because it's too hard to, it's too hard to uh, join it on when, when it's in the bike so we'll bring the whole thing out. And where that goes is, it goes up over the top of the, it's inside the frame now at the moment, and it goes up over the top of the crankcase, comes out through the frame here then, and it's going up between the, the pipe going into the top of the left hand radiator, and it's coming out between the left fork and the, oh, the frame, and up in front of that, the top yoke. Lever. So that's that sorted. And on the other side, it, well, you have a throttle position sensor as well. Um, you can you can disconnect that here and and take it away with you in the carburetor. Uh, there's only a little the tiny you stick in a screw over there into that, and it releases this it out so that that'll come over to the other side that'll come away with the with the camera as well can't really can't really see where it is now but we'll come away with the camera and when you have all those things loosened you'll be able to pull it back and take off the cover for the push pull uh, cables we'll actually follow those cables now that's the push pull track of cables when you take off that cover, I need I need my two hands now. I'll do it in a minute. But anyway, the cables, they again they go o over the crank case, and um, they're on the the engine mount that are running up on the outside of it. The other yes, and they come up there. Then they come out through the frame again, and up over the top of the right hand radiator through beside the, the fork and the frame when they come out that's where they're coming up there between those two rubbers and, up and into your throttle there's the push pull cable now on the throttle and um, you measure, I show you measure um, how much thread is sticking out. There was nine mil in the bottom now and eight and a half in the top. That's my one is broke now. That's why I'm missing there. But the, tr the threaded end was broke. But I'm able to pull it, pull it together with a few small cable ties at the back. But if I don't take note of that when I'm putting it back together, it'll be, it'll be very. I'll be trying to look for adjustment, and if I if I had noted this in the first place to be a lot handier and uh, that's the throttle position sensor and there's there's some um, rubber rings put around that um, I remember looking it up years ago I can't I actually I don't know why I'm doing it but um, I'm sure if you look up different things about uh, pimping up the throttle position sensor you'll find it out and you see that's all that's left now to, before I can take out that car um, is them just to make sure before I disconnect the throttles cables it's a push pull one you can actually get away without the push but I saw it here anyway I'll tell you it's very hard to make a video with this fell above my shoulder this cat is always involved and actually I measured the, I wrote them down there, eight and a half mil and nine mil, the two of them. Now, cat, did you ever? No, he's back again. He's back again. 
Metroid. Yeah. Half as much. Off he goes. Oh man. Right. Get in there. The important thing to remember here now is the cable. Now I've it all ripped up now, so it's a bit confusing. That's just a piece. Goes back in. But the one that's nearest to the rider. Back one as opposed to the front one. That is the bottom cable in the actual throttle, throttle body, is it? Camera stuff, whatever the hell you call it. That's what it is, anyway. It's the bottom one there. And it goes around the bottom of that and it goes in there. Hooks in there. And um, yeah, just in case I'd forget that when I'm putting it back together. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pull off the I'm gonna pull the bloody cables with it because it's too it's too hard to work spanners in there. So I might as well do all this business out on the bench. I used to be always leaving the the cables in before because I'd be afraid I wouldn't remember the roofing of them through the bike. But now that I've got you know that we can video things, I might as well bring it out and make it easier to put it together on the bench. Back again. Oh god. Okay, go. Go. No. Um this one. These cables when I put them back on. Okay. Um, right. The bottom one. The one sitting closest to the front wheel. When it comes in through this piece, goes down then and onto the that, that throttle tube. So if you if you looked at it. Make sure it's on the one when they're turned down it's the one near the front so it's once I had that one in so I that one in there and it's coming up around that position and it's actually coming through the bottom section of the black piece and it's in the front of these pair and it'll also be at the of the actually in the eye where it connects to the camera so then I know I have one cable in right and the other one will have to go in on the other place. This breather pipe just to remind myself this one that goes down to the ground and I'm putting that back in now to make sure I remember it's going overhead those two pipes is it this side of it right those two pipes are just going up there to um well i have the whole back end hanging off the rope there so that's an unusual probably they probably won't be going straight up in real life but just for my own benefit and the crank case breather tubed in I shouldn't be moving that, but in case I do, it's it's going on top of the. Was that the starter motor wire? It's on top of that, and that's your hot start going up there. That's the start of that anyway. It's going up there on top of that um, crankcase cover. And what else do I need to remind myself? Well, that's the back. The that's a T. Piece coming off the crank case breather tube and it's going to the air box so that eventually will go into that when I, when I drop the back end down again and uh, why not there was something about something else I was spotting here now oh yeah the throttle position sensor cable or wire actually it's a wire coming in there 
and that's going through goes and there it is coming out there it's coming around the bike it's coming out there at the right hand side of the the, the, the engine mount see it's, it's coming out there now as opposed to in case you put it in through it or the other side because it could be anywhere when you, just, when you start putting back in that that um, carburetor and it like Bob Marley with all the dreadlocks hanging off it now we look at the, the Bob Marley analogy again uh, with all these pipes now these three wires coming out of the back end that I've hanging up are the, the wire loom uh, the, um, the starter motor and the earth now when you get down as far as here you can't see the wire loom so you've got the starter motor and then you've got the art which is arted on there and uh, of course this one of these pipes as I say the, the breather pipes when they come out there's that one there now where, where it comes off as a T one of them is just going to the ground and uh, there's another one that actually comes away with the carburetor so it won't be confusing it'll be on the carburetor out in the bench and uh, there's another one well it'll stay there it's connected you know it's connected to the carburetor the whole time and this one coming off the T that's going down through the, the swing arm and uh, you know going down through the middle of the mechanism down there the dog going on over the head they can't them pieces the shock is missing now shock is gone from there up to there so just to make it easy to get out the car but anyway uh, now the pipe the other breather tube or whatever whatever those pipes are coming off it when it's going over it's got to be behind the two cables sorry it's got to be on top of them hope you can see that there now uh, when you're putting it back together the two wires w the one coming to the starter motor and the one coming to the earth this tube will be on top of them at this point right and okay now that's that one done now gee where's the cat again now there was a sneaky one all right sneaky one over here that i nearly missed I'd never have known where it was going. There's another pipe, a tube, or whatever, a breather, and it's going through. Going through it's going through that piece up there. It's just coming out now, the other end there. Just for convenience. Obviously, it's something that you don't want to be sucking up water with. I don't know what, what, what it is. But it's going in there. It's going down the middle. And where the hell is it? It's, it's, there it is there. So when it takes off, you can see where it is. It'll be the one coming out the bottom of um, this mechanism. Um, and when it takes off, it, it's got to be behind the throttle cable. And it's behind the wire for the throttle position sensor. It can be behind both of them. This, this is the other one we talked about a minute ago. That's just coming out from the other side and it's just going down. Actually, there you go. That wasn't the one we were talking about a minute ago. That goes down through the swinging arm and what have you. Linkage. And so does this one. Goes off down there as well. That one seems to be in front of, of that part. And the other one is behind it. Mightn't make any difference at that point, but anyway, this one when it's coming out again, right? We're going to have it examine this one now, and it's 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 gone around. Maybe I talked about that from the other side. It's gone around the two wires, uh, the live and the the one for the self motor and the art. It's gone around them, but the sneaky one when that goes up at the back, it'll be to the left of 
these wires, we'll say the electrical wires, the art and the live, and it'll go around the back of the push pull cables for the throttle, and it'll as the other one that's the throttle position sensor wire, it'll be underneath them as well. And as I said, this is the one now, and it goes up there then. When it comes up here, there it is there then. And I, I, I pull it. If I just drag that carburetor out of that, there's no way I'd have known that that pipe was going there. There are so many of them. Unbelievable. What do you reckon, Bob? There's enough wires there. Now this is an easier machine to drive, maybe not to work on. This is the RF250X carburetor. It is upside down there now, at the moment. And, uh, Unscrewed these three screws. Come off this fella. And the spring. And oh, and be careful with those two washers. Do you know where they went? And this fella now. You know, don't run them in him, so I'm going to have to. I don't know what that is, it's a bit of a spring in it and then the spring goes on top of it. So it must be doing something. And, um, and then of course I open that. Well, throw it all on. And you can see, well, I opened off four bolts off of that, then the big hole. And these are the jets then. I suppose that'll come off when I have these ones screwed. That's the fella now you have to count to turn him in. I already done it now, it's actually out three. So I'll win again. That's a half. That's one. I have. That's two. Two and a half. And that's three. And it's tight there now. So now when I take that out completely. Oh! When I put it in eventually. I'll go all the way in again and then come out three times. Now, use a six to get out that fella. Use uh, an eight to get out here. And then the whole thing comes out together. <laughs> count that and when you bring out that there's a spring on the end of it so see the spring oh. yeah, through that spring and there's a rubber there's a rubber o-ring down there but I think it might stay there no and when you're opening these jets then you're taking out the jets Make sure the screwdriver fits perfect. Because you don't want to miss them up. I get them open there now. But I can't, I can't get them open because I have to turn the cap uh, That's the needle then. Needle comes. 
comes up through that one. And that's the one you can see then when you open the. I don't know what the hill is. I think it's the overflow because it comes out the bottom of the cab eventually down there. It's the one that you'd open if you were letting out, trying to drain it. So there's another drain one. This is all. This is all witchcraft. There's also another little. I don't know what you call it. Some sort of a jet. It's in the bottom of that. There's a hole in that, so we're going to have to. So as I remember, that's where it goes back. Put it in there, and I'm after taking the top. I wanted to get out the needle, and I did. Needle. See it passing down through there, and you can see it coming out through the bottom, and actually all the way out through the bottom. You can see it here eventually. Now, I was taking that out, there's different notches where you can plan that clip. You know, you daren't, I daren't go near it, like, I don't know what you were at now. Now, and that comes out from the top and to get it out I had to, you could get it out by opening that cap but I took off the two caps that cap goes onto that cap and that whole thing then goes onto the top of that and you can see it down there then when you move when you move that the whole thing is going up to but when you take it off the fella that's holding it in small screwdriver you need to get a flat one you should be careful with that because there's a spring on it actually spring on the top of that. Now what's the other thing? Oh yeah. And the other thing that could happen when you have it out in your hand, the float that's not actually held in with anything, that's just it can't fall out once it's together but you get it off. Maybe pull it out on purpose. So it's won't end up falling down on you. Now there's other business going on here. Have to take an account of as well. I was told to be careful about this. This fella, a lot of bits and pieces there that could plunge or I'm not quite sure what to call them. He's off now anyway. He's going in, he's actually coming out there. So there could be something else to clean in there. It. I'm just keeping an account of it myself anyway just in case there's no way I remember where all these things go not a hope there's four four items here now jets whatever you'd like to call them that actually have to be let you see light through my I'm blue through them there now. Would anyway. <laughs> anyway, I'd rather the died petal, but there you go. Oh, there you go. You see the light through that one? And there's the light. So that's that one. And I've done the model two as well. I cleaned the rust out of that. That was like there must have been maybe there was water on the bottom of the bowl or something. And if there's someone why was the rust that's a kind of a plunge on that one. Sure, what it does, but it was rubbery anyway. Uh, the carburetors, there's a hell of a lot in them. A hell of a lot going on. I pulled out the choke too, as well. Yeah, that's not, that's not much to. Not much to 
much to clean it really. I'd be half afraid not to put the compressor on it in case I blow out O-rings or seals or something that I don't know about. So I just blew I just blew them out with my, my mouth. Just make sure there was the air going through it. And um, the, the warm shaft was in there. I would take it out at the moment. It's over here. I'm going to grease. I'm going to put some white grease on outside on the side of it here but I'm not supposed to put anything on that on the end of it because if the warm start is out a small bit it can be hard to start the bike as well it was kind of hard to start it it was it's kind of a bit funny